So uh, it's will come for anyone and everyone to come and open their stall. So if they think that three days of coming to the Dimapur, opening the market, that will give them profit, then uh, that is up to them. But it's open for everyone. The thing is, we cannot help them with the logistic or we cannot help them with the accommodation. So we have to look at, like women entrepreneurs, somebody may be just making home pickles. So you just have to do the calculation, like coming all the way here, staying in a hotel, opening the bazaar. So uh, that I cannot say exactly how many will be coming from those districts, but like those things are involved. The expenses are more for those districts who are far from Dimapur. We have provided trainings on like digital marketing. So uh, just to be honest here, like we have all those trainings, but people who are really interested, they only come and attend those trainings. So uh, with all the financial, uh, difficulties that we have, we cannot go to each and every district physically and provide those trainings, but Zoom trainings online, virtual trainings are uh, provided by us in the last two years. Since we are non-profit organizations, uh, we can't be having a website where we'll be selling their products and all. But then obviously in the future we will be facilitating where we can able to onboard those products to maybe uh, some mar marketplace like Amazon's, what, uh, Amazon or other like such marketplace. There are so many other market or I don't know to say like a very local, but then a very like uh, we can see their uh, progress like mm -hmm. growth and all. So maybe we can uh, try in the future to onboard that one. But then a physical um, workplace like uh, marketplace, it's very required. And then it's not just about the uh, market like I've mentioned. It's not just about the sales, but mm -hmm. also it's a. Uh, it's about networking. It's about networking and also it's about the learning space, the learning environment that we have. Because for them, like working there, it's quite, quite aloof. But it is very necessary for us humans also, not only from the business aspect, but as human also, it's very necessary for us to come together, get involved, and then we learn a lot from each other also. So that kind of uh, environment we want to create through this uh, WEN Bazaar. Of course, there are lots of complaints that I mean, we see in social media that local, uh, even in our social media posts, that local products are very expensive. So, uh, just my understanding, like whatever we are producing locally are handmade. We don't have big companies' missions to generate, like if we are making a toy, it will take one day for me to make that. But if you have a big factory, you can make thousands. So pricing sometimes it can be higher, but uh, we have to understand the, the infrastructure that we have. Like, you know, to make something, let's say, to wave a megla, you have to get the, the trades from outside. You courier it, and it will go to Mugokchong or to Insang. And actually, cost of delivery to Dimapur is very, like, very cheap comparatively, but from Dimapur, going to the other district is more expensive. So we need to look at all the logistics, everything, uh, it becomes a little higher. That's what, from my understanding. Through this uh, platform, I would like to request the uh, people also, the uh, masses, that you have to understand also. Like, uh, I'm talking uh, from the perspective of a business. I'm also running a handicraft business. So it's, it's whatever like she has pointed out, it's truly like those are the uh, factors which is uh, adding up the cost. But eventually, there's so many factors, we cannot just pinpoint one. Nah? The electricity, logistics, and all those, it add, adds up to the price. So later on, eventually, with the help of the government, uh, the government is also very positive, we have been very supportive. So eventually, things will be good, like the price, whatever, uh, like the um, our guest has mentioned, like the complaints that ha they have from the masses and all, eventually, things will be fine. We are still uh, yet to arrive there. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.